But going back to Jared Hayne, uh, Chip, do you think the guy has a bit of hide in going to the Titans on a lot of money, not playing particularly well, <laughs> not turning up half the time, getting rid of the coach, and now that the coach has gone and a new one's come in, he just wants to fuck off to another team? Well, I don't know. I, f- I think he feels that his work is done. Well, he, in a way, his work is done. If, he's, if his work was completely destroying the Gold Coast Titans franchise... His work is well and truly done. You know, I'd like to suggest here on the voluntary tackle, we we try and raise you know five hundred bucks, say five hundred bucks for charity. But we we want to see Jared Hayne in a Darth Vader costume. And for what purpose? Well, you know, he's he, he's this guy that kind of just walks in and blows shit up and leaves again. Oh, okay. He is a bit of a super villain. I, I, I definitely see where you're coming from. I mean, he is the kind of person... Well, maybe for, just like a little Mexican moustache from those old westerns or, or some kind of criminalistic mm. feature that he well, can wear. you're certainly coming across as very racist. Um, well, you didn't say anything about Darth Vader. I mean, there was no racist part there. Well, because he's black. You've got to be consistent here, Eamon. This is not you you know, can't even a rehearsal. See, you this can't even a... see his skin pigment, Darth Vader. He's in a costume. Well, you did see it when they took their helmet off. <clears throat> and when he died, he was like an old white guy. But, you know, with Jared Hayne, here's my problem with him. Everything. Okay, let's say it all falls apart and Jared Hayne gets busted down to touch football division. Um, Is and, that a thing? Uh, well, What a bust town. <laughs> oh, you're let, playing in see. fucking Queen's Park on the weekend, Jared. <laughs> yeah, you're going to go and play touch football with Chip and Eamon. Um, I guess with, the, with Jared as well... Um, he has put the Titans in a very awkward position. Now, what should the Titans do if, indeed, Jared Hayne does walk and go to one of the Sydney clubs? Now, uh, under his contract, he's getting paid a lot of money, and the chances are that if they grant him a release, they'll still have to pay a fair bit of his contract while he goes gallivanting off and playing for another club. Should the Titans show some balls on this one and not pay him a red cent? I think that maybe they should pay him a red cent. Just one just, red Just cent. send him an old copper. Just some kind so, of imperial currency you know, that doesn't exist anymore. So to speak. Do you something? think when Jared Hayne you. finally leaves the Gold Coast, there will be like a sort of celebration from th- the city? <clears throat> well, I think... Um, because, I mean, let's face it, he hasn't brought much to them, has he? Well, Apart from about four or five unwanted pregnancies. 